Okay, welcome back to another video, and today is the Bong Ponga Jersey Swap, and it's not really a tutorial, it's more inspiration, so hope you enjoy. As you can see, I've already brought in all my elements, and these are the different layers. Got Ponga, got an Australian jersey, got an all black jersey, and the blank one I think is my logo, just hidden somewhere. First part of this, as always, I've already lassoed it out, so I'm just going to get a soft brush, about 90% hardness on it, and go around the edges to uh, you know, get rid of the background and bring him out. I'm going to speed this up now by a lot so you don't have to watch this again, because this will be in every single video I do, because it is just part of the process. I'm going to open up this by saying that Ponga is literally a walking highlight reel from Schools Rugby, as many future superstars are. Uh, he plays league, used to play union in school but got courted over by Lee by its money I presume and maybe just by the option of not having to hit rooks as a back tree which I completely agree with. And now we use one of these famous tools to get rid of all the logos is the heel and brush tool and watch this BAM! Easy as that, quick swipe and it's gone as if it was never there so we're just going to do that over the other ones. He has so far been courted by both nations. Australia is where he's been born, but he's been and he's played them with them for league already. And he's an absolute superstar, and he could be a superstar for the union team. And New Zealand is he'll end up being one of many in my mind. Now the reason why we only get rid of the crest, we don't really need to worry about the blue or anything, even though I've just got rid of a whole line of blue. It's because the hue saturation layer, as you see here, will literally just colour everything. And for some reason I chose to change it to red first where then I copped on and realised I need to change it to yellow for the Wallabies jersey. So just give me a second there to have a bit of cop and I'm going to fill in all the... You can see me here just messing around trying to get it right, get things in the right place, lightness, darkness, trying to match the colour. And here we see me trying to just coat it out but then I realised the healing brush is probably the best option and I was just wasting my time. And boom, there you are, look, they're all gone. Now the next part of this is I'm actually going to get rid of part of it where I plan on making it black and then using this sick powder explosion brush to make it look like the jersey is literally exploding off him I suppose in a powder. I don't understand why. And then we're going to turn the other half of the jersey black. Simple really but change things black. Just drop that lightness. Make it grey. Drop the lightness. Grand. Get black. Dark grey. Now I'm just resizing the jersey here, not to paste it on or anything, but just to rob the logos from it and make them in proportion. And I'm messing here with different layer styles to see what would work best with the black and white logo. Turned out it was the colour dodge. Who would have thought? Never used that before in my life. And now I'm getting rid of the hard edges, despite you not being able to see any hard edges as I'm watching it now. But there was some. Now I'm going to try make the All Blacks colour by eye. It isn't very good when I try it. So basically when I do this sort of stuff in Photoshop, I really just hope people don't notice. And just carry on with their day and think it looks class. I'm just cleaning up, sharpening up the edges. And uh, as I said, hopefully no one notices that I just did that. Because it is fair messy. Now take this moment as I'm messing around here to just talk about Ponga and how class he is. Uh, he's basically the Quake Cooper 2.0 because he has this iconic set with a low centre of gravity. And he plays for Newcastle Knights, 42 games, 244 points, he's 6 foot, he's 90 kilos. He's an absolute freak in nature and should be watched for the future. As you saw there, I'm just transferring another logo. It's, it's simple stuff. And always, 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 always use layer masks and stuff like that. Don't be destructive using a razor straight away because if you mess up, you can only press undo a certain amount of times. And it's just really annoying. When you use layer masks, you can, you know, you can fiddle with it, fix it and stuff. With an eraser, you can't. It's a real nuisance. And just to put it out there, as I'm going to get started on the Australia jersey, you, I'm going to do the same process, copy over the crest and all that crack. But you don't have to make an exact copy jersey, because you see on the All Blacks I had that texture on the front, I'm not going to copy that over, because 
it will just make the edit look really bad i've even left the texture from the other jersey on the australian side you can't see it on the black side because it's gone black but like if you overdo it you will make the jersey end up looking really fake and i know it is fake and it will kind of look fake but you're trying to reduce the amount that it actually doesn't look real because you know it just doesn't look good then it just looks awful and you see me here putting on the green collar for the australia jersey it's grand just do a little bit with my favorite brush to grand just copying over the big sponsor logo warping it trying to make it look like it does and messing with those layer styles as always i don't know what i went with in the end but sure look it worked generally a brightness and contrast layer will get colors to match on its own and you always got to remember it's being viewed on a phone screen most of the time for instagram not on a giant billboard so any little thing you can kind of get away with now i grouped the layers in so I know exactly where they all are and I can actually uh, look at my layer 3 a lot easier and now I'm going to apply the camera raw filter as you can see from the sliders here uh, just adjusting it just making it look a bit more class as you can see here it did its job and then I noticed there were some uh, not entirely black spots over on his shoulder so I'm just going to touch them up and just make them look a bit better like again it's black it has no detail so luckily enough for me i was able to fix that pretty easily despite the amount of messing i'm doing here for some reason now i'm trying to do kind of a bit of shading on the edges just give a bit more shadow looks lovely and what i'm going to do now is apply levens to brighten it up in certain spots so to brighten up his face, the front of his chest, anywhere where like I just kind of want to stand out a bit more and I do this using a soft round brush just so I don't have any hard edges anywhere because that always looks crap. Now I start working on the background and I thought it'd be cool to have an explosion behind him because I'm, if you look through all the work I have at the moment, I'm really digging the powder explosions this is a good time to plug my instagram at the sports creative one i think it is and there'll be a link below in the description go check that out i post nearly every day well since lockdown it has been every day so check that out also subscribe to the youtube channel since you are here and i hope all 70 of you are subscribed to me i don't check that very often i've only started doing the speed edits again uh, but also share to where you think it's necessary and uh, like and comment and all that make me famous please i crave attention and i need more still just fiddling around with the background and just kind of getting it the way i want it to go angling the brushes in different directions always remember you can move brushes around so they're not stuck to the direction that you first installed them in and i'll change a couple of colors thought green would look cool looked garbage so i changed it to gray just brighten up behind them just to make it stand out a bit more using a soft brush make it look like lights coming out looks kind of class and then i went did levels to make his edges darker because i just thought it would look a bit better again just switching them out by eye just thinking where the dark spots would be and just rocking on then as always just a bit of drop shadow just to make him stand out even more from the background i do like a bit of drop shadow another camera raw filter just messing with it, put a bit of a vignette, 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 whatever, and resizing the logo, getting a bit finicky with that. Put that up top corner, make sure no one steals my work. And if you see anyone steal my work, please let me know so I can do absolutely nothing about it. And then, as I was going here, saved it, thought it looked cool with a, his signature on it. From what I see on his Instagram, he's a bit of a surfer guy, artsy guy, so um, I thought this one. This little signature would suit him the best. Angle it, make it look like a rotor on it, and boom, that's how you make an absolute sick jersey swap edit. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Obviously, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please, God, I need the attention from as many eyes as possible. Comment, like, have a great time. Check out one of my other videos. And again, if you see how I can improve, please let me know. Good luck.